The Lakes Area Music Festival kicked off its 15th season of summer concerts tonight with a special performance held in Brainerd's Lyman P. White Park. For more on the story, here's Justin Othout. For 15 years, the Lakes Area Music Festival has provided the Brainerd Lakes area a dive into the world of classical music. Through its many performances throughout the season. They participate in concerts of chamber music, in full orchestral rep, even a full opera production. And not only that, but we like to find ways to get our musicians out of the concert hall and into the community. So it feels very exciting to be starting it with the intimacy of chamber music um, to sort of build on what is to come. As an opening act, a special performance was held at Brainerd's Lyman P. White Park, featuring the Talia String Quartet. who showcased classical works from Beethoven as well as more modern melodies. Being um, kind of the warm-up act for an incredible summer of music feels amazing. Sharing this type of music with an intimate crowd or a crowd in a space like this is something I love to do. Um, our quartet loves to take music that's both familiar to, to really anybody, music that people can connect with and share that, and to also take music that people might not be familiar with. One of the highlights of this opening act and the festival as a whole is being able to share live performances with the Brainerd Lakes community. Bringing classical music to the Lakes area here is something that I'm really passionate about. We've gotten to see people laugh at classical music. We've gotten to see people cry at classical music. And sharing those, emu those emotions with our audience members is I think what what really makes me love what I do. Reporting in Brainerd, I'm Justin Othout, Lakeland News. While the Lakes Area Music Festival will host concerts all throughout the summer, the Prelude Series will continue tomorrow, July 15th, with a performance in Aiken. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.